Hey string lovers, today I will answer a question that many of you have asked in the past and it's what monitoring system do I use in my videos? In 95% of them you can see me with in-ears because I need to hear myself, a backing track and the metronome. It's super useful in the studio and live. So this video, stay till the end because I'm giving you all my tips and tricks. It's basically a cheat code, a fast track to know what type of in-ear you need to start experimenting with in-ears at home or in the studio. Okay, so my main pair of in-ears are Ultimate Ears UE11. Those are amazingly well built, they sound super pristine, they're great, and they're also molded to my ears, which means they cut all the exterior sound from the world. Those are retailing around $1,200 to $1,500, depending on the options you get. You could choose a color, blah, blah. Another option is the Shure. It's a reputable company, they sound great, they're well built also. And they have the same amount of uh, drivers than my UE11 uh, when you get the flagship model, the 535. Uh, people also use the 425. They're actually great also. They retail around 450 to 650. But here is a cheat code, guys. It's a new company. It's the Linsole KZ Zax. Those have eight drivers per ears. It's more drivers than my UE11 or the 535. They're well built, they look cool, they sound amazingly great for the price. They retail around $100. They very often have on Amazon 10 or 20% off. Those, for quality to value, it's impossible to beat. This is not a sponsored video. This is now my backup pair, and I'm not disappointed when I have to use them. Linsol sell a cool braided cable. You need to get the two pin recess. I actually use a backup cable on my good UE11. If you're short on cash and $100 is too expensive, they also have another model under, which is also great, the KZ10 Pro. It's around 60 bucks. So guys, I will put in the description below the links. It's gonna also be on my link tree. You could get yourself a pair and uh, start experimenting with in-ears at home. I hope this video helped you out and uh, see you in the next video, guys. See ya.